welcome back in tech learning and in this video i'm going to show you how you can basically connect your redmi player with your unreal engine 5 project so i already create a simple account in redmi it's very easy you can do by your own self and simply create your avatar and then at here you find basically a download option there you find your avatar url or dot glb pal so make sure this we need with that for unreal engine we need two more plugins that is uh the dot glbi plugin and the ready player plugin you find them all in the official side of ready player okay you can go to the developer option and you can download them plugins once you have that plugin installed on your unreal then you can simply go to a third person because i'm going to do that for mobile so i'm just choosing the mobile and i'm just choosing my location for now the music and then simply create the project now the main thing is you need some plugins okay yeah basically the plugins make your life hell okay yeah that's right oh sorry not hell it's heaven so at here once you go to your plugins you find at the real time you find .glbi file runtime you find that official on epic marketplace and then you need to download this one the redmi player make sure they, they provide lots of versions so you need to uh, check that so you find here the documentation like about the unreal engine integration quick start load avatar and the, you need to basically go to uh, the change a log or api reference of sdk detail so at here you find here the release reference the loader avatar component from you know it's still on you at the quick start you also find that set up in a project c plus plus project how you need to do here you find the they are windows sdk redmi player sdk if you go to their uh, sector they give a github account from that you need to basically download your uh, if you go to tags they provide the branch and developers which one you want so basically just download the redmi player plugin and once you have that you need to just paste that here in your engine or you can create a plugin folder on your content browser uh, sorry uh, on your project and then you can use that okay now once you have this thing and i already set up that so i'm going to simply restart that okay now once it's restart it's basically give you some file basically okay nothing else here you find something like that so you can say that do not and do not analyze and now for let's go to third person and then you don't need to go to blueprints and blueprint classes and at the your blueprint classes you can remove this code if you want it's totally depends on you but i'm leaving like that and at the mesh you need to simply change that to here you find the rpm xamo skeleton you need to just choose that and at the animation class you find that half body and full body so we are going to use the full body so it should be something look like this and compile save now what you need to do is go to event graph and at the event begin play you need to add a component uh, that is basically the ready me you can search here that uh, ready there should become or just let me search me player here the ready me player plugin are uh, the component this is important then at the targeted skeleton you need to set your rpm skeleton okay and then at the url list this is basically the url you need to provide okay so at here i'm going to provide this url i'm going to load this one that's why and from the uh, mesh uh, I'm, I'm going to search load uh, avatar from the redmi, uh, redmi or you can set that a new avatar it's totally so i'm going to choose this one so at the component it's basically at the redmi target it will basically add that okay or even you can set it to a new avatar load so it will be give you give you basically the url so you can uh is that so you can create a custom event for get uh data and simply connect like this so compile save so as you can see the currently we have this character and i create that in my avatar so it's have some long hair and a black type t-shirt maybe i'm not sure but yes it's have something like this okay and even it's have a sunglass okay yeah it's looking good now what i can do simple click on play 
once you play it will be maybe take a few seconds to load up all everything and then you'll be see the changes so currently we are not seeing any changes okay that's the basically stuff and here it's loaded and boom i whatever create the avatar it's now totally loaded you can see that is basically your ready me player on unreal engine right now now you have a question bro how you can use this character loaded character and how you can basically change the animation you know and those stuff so it's basically very easy that you need to just go to the animation sector and here you find basically the skeletons and even you find some dancing animation they provide so what you need to do is basically very simple is we need to create some animations basically for this one because this using the mixamo if you double click and open you find that uh it's using uh the mixamo rig okay it's using mixamo rig with some unreal engine skeleton so yeah it's have pretty much everything right now so now what you need to do uh if you want to use this thing so for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's a lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and it is more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below ah okay then you need to go uh you need to create the rig basically so you can basically use any type of animation for this one like um if i go to the unreal engine default animations so at here like at the characters manicums animation and here you find basically there's a u4 forward available okay they basically give you some animation you can use them okay ideal forward and work okay like that so for do that we can go to animation uh sorry we can go to animation then ik rig and ik rig we can we need to select the rpm let's give it that name rpm and then double click and open and at the key chain you need to create a chain the first chain we need is basically the uh spine and then the spine should be start from the zero to three okay then we need a bone for the root so let's give it name that root so the root is basically the heap for this one okay like this or you can uh, sorry the root is basically you can say to armature so armature for this one armature to armature then we need a uh, one for the left okay left arm so left rm so or you can give it name that left la okay that is basically the left arm set it to no goal and then you need to set it to left shoulder to left hand and then simply do the same thing for ra that is right arm that's it to no goals and then simply set it to left, right shoulder to right hand and then we need the same thing for the, our left leg so l l left leg set it to no goal and you need to set it to left leg to and then we need one more that is rr that is uh, right leg so no goal and set it to left right leg true right if there's anything extra bone we need we can create so there's no issue and this at the hips we need to set it to ik root okay because this is going to be the root of this one now at the for the characters which one we are going to basically retarget okay so like uh, i'm going to retarget uh the if i say uh, maybe this one the queen or main queen okay there's any you know skeleton bones are dissimilar so there's no issue so animation ik rig ik and let's set it to uh, the man and double click open and make sure uh, the ik uh, we have the animation okay so yeah you need to before do anything you need to check that 
the animation are available or not okay because i do, i do want animation with this so fw let's see yep forward animation is available so yeah pretty much enough okay there so at the uh end let's set it to uh ue and then double click and open and once you open now we need to just check if you have dual monitor so it will be give you more, more better result like in your left screen you can open one and your right screen and you can open another one okay like yeah like that so now at our ue we need to create the same bone name make sure it's very important so write as simple as and similar as possible do not do not mistake anything so i'm first creating all the bones okay let me create all the bones first so root then we need their left arm that is basically la then ra i guess they need to update this stuff ra then basically the ll and the last one is uh, rr okay now let's say it to spin 0 to spin 3 root is basically the root and the left arm is basically the uh the calvus l to for now i'm using the hand so if it's not work we can set to upper arm l2 there's no issue this is pretty similar in calvus r and 2 uh, you can search hand and r and then left we use the thigh basically so left thigh to left foot there's a lots of bone available that is basically the very confusing in uh so we can set to ball bell and for the r that is l uh what that's shit uh that is the r okay lr make sure now once you have this thing you need to set simply the ik root target and now once you have everything you can create the tool chain so we can basically retarget that animation so retargeter so we're going to do for our ue to rpm so we can choose to our ue and then from that we're going to choose our rpm character and if you go to asset so now we can search first the idle and here that mf as you can see that is pretty much uh an upgrade mm okay mannequin this is for the female this is for male and so yeah as you can see that is pretty much great so now because everything is great then we can search that uh walking so we can basically check if everything is okay or not so as you can see the right leg is okay but the left leg have some issue so we can go to our uh the l l to left o i guess in our ue we put some wrong higher it's okay let's check this one l l did i correct spell yep l l so left leg to left leg and okay that is pretty much okay everything but the right leg working why not the left one i guess for the ik uh because unreal engine use uh the ik so let me just disable this shit because i don't like this stuff uh, i'm not understanding that that's actually uh yeah i'm seeing that's uh, the oh sorry it's have issue on the right leg okay uh so r l okay oh yeah as you can see i give the wrong one that is basically should be the r2 bar r so now let's go to retargeter and here boom as you can see we have everything great 
now because we have everything now we can go to anim anim animation and let's go to, we need only idle then i need the walk one okay so yeah i need these two thing only so simply retarget duplicate and i'm setting my new retargeter set it to content browser and retarget okay once we have these two animation let's create the animation blueprint so let's give it name that simple <coughs> rpm character and let's give that name rpm new okay and at here we need to go do some basic coding that is a new uh we can search that state machine and service state machine there should be a state called idle so even i don't want to rename okay and then make sure that all the animation should be loop so set it to loop and then from that it should be go to work so work and should be come back we need a boolean for checking that is moving i'm do, i'm so sorry that i'm doing so fast and set it to that and not pull and then so that work simple forward working make sure that it should be also loop now once we have in the event graph we need to do some coding that is basically i get the velocity i get velocity get length get length or you can search the length so you find the oh sorry you need uh, the vector or uh, we switch our vector length and once you have that you need to uh get up the equals that it is some more than 0 0.1 so we can the bull will be target or even you need to not false true false you need to simply connect like this and it will be worked okay so for do that class to uh we going to class to character class class to character class and simply connect compile save now we can go to our third person and let's set it to our uh, new rpm character a uh, new rpm so it should be look like this at the arm we can make it like this now for character uh, speed control there is a by default 500 i'm going to set it to 350 others depends on you and now play and yeah as you can see whatever animation we did we are able to basically use that and still i'm seeing that a character moving too fast so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the actual value is for the walking animation that is 125 i'm so i'm seriously saying guys uh if i show you right now just look oh the animation is some little bit uh, slower uh, by default so we can set the speed up to 220 should be perfect yeah as you can see it's uh it's basically very perfect so for setting the character size you can basically go and do some little bit adjustment just disable these grids and just drag and drop enable the grids for your future work compile save play and boom you have now a perfect a ready me character to your unreal engine so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's a lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and etc more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below